Okay, one more video about manipulating content on a web page. There's uh, three more methods that I want to talk about briefly. One is insert before. I was mentioning before that a pen child always puts things at the end of a list. So if I was to insert a child inside of UL, it would put it after Boondock Saints, always. However, the insert before lets you pick a reference node. So I could say, in before Apocalypse Now, I want to insert something. So I can create a new node and insert it into this node, which would be the UL, before the reference node. Replace child lets you take a new node and replace an old node. You just have to have reference to the parent. And then clone node allows you to copy. I could take this entire UL with all of its contents and copy it, or just the UL itself and copy it. That's what this property right here is true or false. True, copy the contents in all of its children. False, just take the node itself and copy it so that you can do something with it. So let's say that we're going to replace uh, Apocalypse Now with The Sixth Sense. Let's do, actually, we'll do insert before. We'll put uh, The Sixth Sense in before Apocalypse Now. So we have, it's the sixth one, so that's index five. If UL, here we go, this is a reference to my UL, and I can say let li is equal ul.children, there we are, and let apocalypse now equal the li's sub 5. So that is the fifth one right here, that's apocalypse now. That's going to be my reference for both these methods. I'm going to, inside the parent, which is UL, I'm going to call insert before. So UL insert before. My new node will be something that I create in just a second. And reference node is apocalypse now. So my new node, document.create element li new node dot text content will be uh, let's do the sixth sense there we are so I'm gonna have a new list item with this text inside of it and that's what I'm going to insert into my UL so here's my list right now so the usual suspects in apocalypse now if I save this and reload my page there we go so the sixth sense has been inserted in between these two elements so that's what insert before lets us do. Replace child. Let's say, oh, I made a mistake. I didn't mean to insert the sixth sense. It was apocalypse. It was uh, Jurassic Park that I wanted to put in there instead. So what do we need? We need the parent. That's the UL, and then the old and the new. So my UL. Replace child, and my new one is going to be. JP is going to be my create element list item. JP.text content is going to be Jurassic Park. There we go. So I'm going to replace Jurassic Park in place of the one that's now in position 5. So allies number 5. Refresh. Oh, JW is not defined. Sorry, JP. You probably saw that before I did. There we go. Jurassic Park has replaced the sixth sense. Because we went back and said, all right, in the list items, get me with the one at position five. Well, that used to be Apocalypse Now, but once we did the insert before, the sixth sense became number five, and so we have replaced that. And just to show the clone node, let's do li's number five, which is our new Jurassic Park dot clone node false. So f for false and t for true. We'll look at these things with and without their child. Actually, 
that's going to be a pretty boring one. That's just the text. Let's make it my UL. There we are. And I will console log the false and then the true. There we are. So we're going to write out the one without the children and then with the children. There we go. So the first one without, that was the false. Right here, false. Nothing inside of it. The second one true gave me everything that was inside of it. So that's what clone node does. It allows you to create a new piece of HTML based on another piece and you can decide whether or not you want just the element or the element and everything inside of it.